Hello boys and girls in year three and four. Today we're going to be looking all about what is Morse code. The Morse code system was uh, a derivative of the electrical telegraph system. Now the telegraph system was invented in the early 1800s, almost 200 years ago from today. And at this time, there wasn't the internet. So we didn't have instant communication systems like Facebook or Snapchat or WhatsApp. We didn't have these uh, ways in which we could communicate with people over large distances and be able to actually um, give them a message. Remember that the telephone wasn't invented until much later. So the only way you could communicate was not even through voice. It was simply either you had to mail a letter or we could send a message through the telegraph wire where the telegraph wire could communicate an electrical signal. Now this electrical signal made a noise and it was this noise that Samuel Morse, the inventor of the Morse code, realized he could use for a system of an alphabet by maintaining the length of this signal. So you'll see in the video that you're about to watch that the signal uh, could be very small or it could be very large. And depending on if it was small or large, those signals would be combined together in a very small amount and they would form letters. These letters would spell words. Some famous use of the Morse code system was in World War II. The radio man plays an important part in maneuvers. His fighting weapon is the transmission key. This system was very reliable because it could easily be used and trained by people working within armed services. And this system was very reliable in being able to secretly code messages to particular units all over the battlefield. The important parts of the key are the knob, the contact, and the tension spring. Both the tension spring and the contacts are adjustable by means of these screws. Listen to the sounds of the key. These sounds are transmitted in international Morse code. So Morse code had a use back then. With the internet now, it's not used so much. However, Morse code is still very much a part of uh, life, particularly for still people that are in the armed services. It's still necessary that they learn how to use it. Also with shipping, Morse code is still used to send signals, although it's not perhaps used as much now. So, I want you to have a look because the whole idea of Morse code was that it allowed for data to be transmitted just like the binary number system did and the Braille system. So in learning Morse code, it's more about reflecting how another form of data transmission can be used, which uses two things, either an on signal or an off signal. So watch the video answer the questions and I hope you learned something new today because Morse code is really a part of our history in terms of how we communicated firstly with electrical signals. Okay, so do the worksheet, try your best. If you have any questions, let me know either through the YouTube video link or otherwise on Seesaw, of course. All right, I'll see you later year three and four. Bye.